Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will explore whether Office 365 is worth it cost or not. And we will also have a look at some of great free and affordable alternative. So if you are in search of one of the best productivity software that is best based on your requirement, you will want to know what are the options you have. And in this video, we're going to cover some of the most popular one. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's start with Microsoft Office 365 first. Office 365, also known as Microsoft 365, is a powerful productivity suit. It includes applications like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook, plus cloud storage and collaboration tool. But the question is, does it fit your needs? And is it worth the cost? And how much does it cost? So let's first of all address this question. Microsoft 365 is subscription-based, and here are most popular models, especially in case of personal use. Microsoft 365 Personal, which is gonna cost you $699 per month, or you can pay $69.99 for whole year. If we talk about another variant, then uh, you can also get Microsoft Office 365 Family, that's going to cost you $999 per month, or you can also pay $99.99 per year, which I would say is one of the most cost-effective plan, as you can divide the whole cost by six. If there are six members in your family, everybody can have their separate plan and can use them in five different PC. So in a way, you can basically install Office 365 in 30 different devices. Now let's talk about another alternative of Microsoft Office. And I would say the biggest one is Google Workspace. Google Workspace is a cloud-based productivity suite that includes just like Microsoft Office, Docs, Sheet, and Slide. When I compare the free plan of Office 365 with free plan of Google Workspace, Google Workspace seems doing great in case of cloud storage. Google Workspace comes with whopping 15 gigabyte of free space through Google Drive. And if we talk about the paid plan, the Google Workspace paid plan start at $6 per user per month. This premium plan offers more storage and premium features when compared to free plan. Now let's talk about strength of Google Workspace. Google Workspace offer even more refined and more mature real-time collaboration and commenting than compared to Office 365. Not only that, it also offer cross-device accessibility with cloud storage. And with Google Workspace, I would say it offer even more mature experience in browser when compared to Office 365. It also offers seamless integration with Google Apps, for example, Gmail, Google Meet, and other tool. So if you are the one who is looking for a modern, more collaborative experience, then they should definitely consider Google Workspace instead of Office 365. Now let's talk about another alternative, which is LibreOffice. LibreOffice is a free open source office suite that's a strong contender for those seeking for a cost-effective alternative. And especially, it is very popular in case of Linux users. If you talk about some of its key feature, then I would say it is compatible with Microsoft Office format and vice versa. Even in case of latest Microsoft Office, they also support open format, which is default format of LibreOffice. Both Microsoft Office 365 as well as LibreOffice have done commendable job in improving interoperability. And just like Microsoft 365, LibreOffice also offer Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint alternative. This free open source Office not only available for Linux, but also available for Windows and Mac OS users. Now let's talk about some of strength of LibreOffice. The biggest one I would say is it is absolutely free with any subscription plan, which is really awesome. As nowadays companies are pushing their product toward subscription plan instead of one time fee, which is I would say in certain cases going to cost a hefty amount to users. LibreOffice is also a privacy focus with no data collection. It is also highly customizable with extension. But when we talk about real-time collaboration, 
I would say it lack and have a limited real-time collaboration feature. And it also have some formatting issue with complex Microsoft Office document. Now let's talk about who it is for. I would say individual or organization prioritizing cost saving and privacy over collaboration feature, they can consider LibreOffice. Now let's talk about another alternative of Office 365, which is known as Apache Open Office. Apache Open Office is another free open source productivity suit similar to LibreOffice. And when we talk about its strength, weakness, and features, it is almost similar as LibreOffice. You may consider it, you know, another variant of LibreOffice. So again, I would say the users may have got one more options if they are prioritizing cost saving and privacy over collaboration features. Now let's talk about the last and one of very close alternative of Microsoft Office. And this one is not completely free, but still offer, I would say, more features than Office, than free version of Office 365. This time we are talking about WPS Office. WPS Office is a freemium alternative that's lightweight and compatible with Microsoft Office format. If we talk about its free version, it offers a writer, spreadsheet, presentation tool, and a PDF reader that comes with ads as this is a freemium alternative which is not completely free. If you talk about its premium version that does not come with any ad, that's going to cost you $29.99 per year, which is significantly less when compared to Office 365, making it one of very strong contender as if we talk about its interface, it is visually almost same as of Microsoft Office. And just like Microsoft Office, it also comes with a mobile app. With the help of home, you can access your document. The only con I saw in case of WPS Office is sometime, you know, the ad can be really distracting. And the cloud storage that you're gonna get at this price is not as high as in case of Office 365. However, just like Office 365 and Google Workspace, it also offer real-time collaboration. So again, the question now arises, who is this software for? So I would say the users that are seeking affordable and polished alternative of Microsoft Office. Now let's talk about choosing the right alternative. So I think we should think of what is our need do you need a real-time collaboration or just basic tool? So if you want a real-time collaboration, then you have three options, which is Microsoft Office itself, Google Workspace, and WPS Office. If you are just looking for basic tool, uh, you know, which is privacy focus and work offline, then these open source tools like Open Office, LibreOffice, or even I would say the LTSC version of Microsoft Office makes sense. Then the next key factor that's going to influence your decision is your budget. So it is totally up to you if you are looking for free option or affordable paid plan or even best of the best. So you can buy based on your budget. So if you want best of the best, then I would definitely recommend you to go with Office 365. There is no doubt on it. If you are looking for a slightly cheaper alternative of it, then you can consider WPS Office. Or, you know, if you are looking for free, then we, we know which are the options we have. Then one should also evaluate what are the pros and cons of each software. So I'm going to place the link of all these software in the description of this video. There you can evaluate feature, compatibility, and ease of use for each option. And based on your requirement, you can choose any one of these Office productivity software. So in conclusion, I would say Microsoft 365 is a great tool, but it's not only the choice. Alternative like Google Workspace, LibreOffice, OpenOffice, WPS Office, and many more offer cost-effective solution tailored to meet a different need. So what do you think about these options? Have you tried any of these alternatives? Share your experience in comment, and let's help each other in finding best productivity tool. Also, make sure to subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content and I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.